okay, way too much drama. Let's begin the Princess Shiri look. I am prepping my face with a Fenty Instant Retouch Primer. This primer is like a facial moisturizer set to mattify. Now I'm adding on my Fenty Matte Longwear Foundation. A little goes a long way. You don't need to apply a lot of this foundation in order for it to give you a really good coverage, but then you can add as many layers as needed and still look and feel natural. I find that the trick is to dab on the foundation very lightly onto your skin. Taking my Fenty Matte Skin Stick in the color Latte, I'm going to conceal. It's thick but weightless, so it gives you a good amount of coverage. It's buildable, blendable, and it doesn't crease up nor cake up. There are 20 different shades, so you can totally use this to correct and contour your face. So to contour, I got the Rich Espresso. I love adding both colors side by side, or I guess some may say on top of each other, and I just blend them away starting with the lighter color at the top and working my way to the darker color below. I'm going to bake my face with my Ben 9 Banana Translucent Powder. I'm putting on a fair amount under my eyes to hide those deep under eye imperfections. This powder is like superb at controlling oil and shine. Okay, so we're gonna let the face bake for about a couple of minutes, which to you guys, I know that it looks like only five seconds. And I'm just gonna buff the extras away. Okay, so to draw on my eyebrows, I'm going to apply my Wonder Brow Gel. It's true, this gel is long wear, waterproof, smudge proof. All of the above is good, but I just wish that this gel came in the color Espresso. Now I'm adding a thin, even layer of my Smashbox Lid Primer. An important step not to scare, just to make my eyeshadow nice and vivid. From my Smashbox Cover Shot of Lace Eye Palette, I'm taking the dark shade called Dark Horse, and I'm going to be adding it to my creasing area. Taking my NYX Vivid's Bright Cream in the color Sugar Rush, I'm going to add that purple color on my eyelid like Princess Cherie. Okay, so I'm not exactly adding this eyeshadow onto my entire eyelid, more like a thick eyeliner, I would say. To define the shape of my eyes, I'm drawing a thin black line with a wing on my upper lash line using my NYX Vanilla Liquid Liner. Right now, I'm using the Annabelle Chocolate Brown Eyeliner, but you can totally pick whatever brown eyeliner that is your favorite. So I took a leap of faith and purchased these gorgeous lashes from Chloe Beauty Supply. It's flexible and inexpensive. It's labeled as 100% Remy hair, but I couldn't tell you if that was false advertisement or not since this is my first time purchasing these lashes. I love it. I absolutely love it. The application wasn't a struggle at all, and the fact that I didn't have to cut them in order to make them fit onto my eyes is absolutely perfect. This purple color from the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette is perfect to give me a gorgeous cheekbone just like Princess Cherie. Plus, I chose purple as it seems to be a reoccurring color on the princess and by the looks of it, it's even in her hair and on her eyelid makeup. Let the fun begin! With the next lid lingerie, lingerie, whatever you want to call it, I will be adding those amazing intricate dots to my face. I've always loved polka dots on anything and everything, but never thought that they would be this much enjoyable and gorgeous on my face. For my lips, I'm adding on the NYX Suede Cream Lipstick. There's just so much to say about this lipstick. I mean, it glides onto your lips like butter. It gives that nice matte, soft, velvet finish. It is a given fact that it is long-lasting and waterproof. Now I'm waiting for it to dry because I'm going to be adding on a white stripe onto my lips using that jumbo pencil. With my Annabelle White Eyeliner Pencil, I'm going to draw the outline of Princess Cherie's Fashion Armory Top. I'm not too sure what to call that top, but it can totally be seen as a piece of jewelry as well. You can totally use any color eyeliner you want. All that matters at this point is to just use something that actually shows on your skin. The design of her top is so complicated and I'm totally following a variety of different photos that I pulled off online on Google. 
at this point there aren't that many like photos to showcase because the movie isn't out yet but if you do go on google and try to search for her armory or her top you may not find a lot of uh, pictures just because the movie isn't out yet To fill the gaps of our top, I'm using the NYX FSX Cream Red Color Paint. To fill the big areas, I'm using an old foundation brush to which I cannot remember where I bought, but I'm pretty sure that you can buy foundation brushes pretty much anywhere. And for the smaller detail areas, I'm using my eyeshadow brush that I purchased from the body shop. Honestly, you can totally use whatever works. The red does look fabulous, but it needed a little bit more dimension or color. I wanted to add some brown, so I pulled my NYX Concealer Correct Contour Palette. I'm just adding the deepest color brown in every corner areas to just accentuate the design. If you want to try this look and you don't have this palette, but then you do want to add in some brown as well, you can totally buy a nice deep dark brown foundation to add on top of the red. Blueprint Vivid Bright Eye Cream Color is perfect for the little square designs that are in between. So right now I'm just adding as much as I can and as you can see the red is totally transferring onto the blue but it is totally okay because I find that imperfection actually creates artwork. So therefore I'm just going to continue and adding it on. I'm not even going to be worried about the little imperfection or if the red is coming on. The most interesting part about this armory is that if you do go on Google and you search some pictures, you will see that there are some purple reflection onto her armory uh, design. So it totally works out really well the fact that the red is actually coming on to the blue a little bit. So I'm totally not worried at this point. I'm actually loving the fact that it's giving a little bit more depth, a little bit more dimension and creativity to the little square designs.
So taking that NYX FSS cream gold color paint, now I'm going to be adding this onto the buttons that she has onto her armory. As you will notice, the red will also transfer onto the gold, giving that gold a little bit of more of a bronzier color. And now I'm going to be doing some more details onto the armory, just adding some more reflection. And I'm going to be adding some more depth onto my jawline area to make that armory just stand out a little bit more. And then I'm also going to be adding on these little teeth that she has underneath her lip on her jaw. I am done Princess Cherie's look. Thank you for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video.